what is up friends how is everyone doing okay so um well i'm back at the ranch and something exciting is going on T tomorrow um well tonight i am making my fresh bouquet first ever bouquets of flowers for a wedding and i have three bouquets oh excuse me oh, my allergies are bad and three um centerpieces to do <clears throat> so i've just gotten to the ranch and just assessing the flower situation i think there's plenty of flowers that are ready oh the weeds you guys i can't even begin to tell you like <clears throat> it is madness okay there are some snapdragons ready there's still ranunculus <clears throat> The scabiosa is going to be ready soon. It's coming. There's some status. There's dahlias. And uh, I was hopeful that the sunflowers were going to be popping out this week. But ah, they are not. They are not yet, sadly. But anyways, so I'm making... They're so... They're getting so close, but they're just not there. Dang, but the people that I'm... Oh, there's a big hole in here. The people I'm doing the flowers for are super chill. And they're just like, Krista, we don't care. As long as there's flowers. So I just literally got here. And I'm literally just doing the assessment. The flower assessment. And yeah, sadly, the sunnies are not quite ready yet. I have a bunch of volunteer ones growing around the garden. And uh, I don't think any of them are ready yet either. Nope. So I thought, ooh, I got all these volunteer ones. But they're, they're not. Oh my gosh. There's a deer that comes through the garden now. And I just like the first time ever we've had a deer. And it's just stressing me out a bit. Oh. <laughs> I gotta get the water on the, I gotta get the water on the garlic, like ace up here. Just everywhere. It's just been hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot this week. It's like 35 degrees here. We got zucchinis growing. Nice. Oh, man. It is amazing the progress that happens in a week at the ranch. Progress in flowers, veggies, and progress in weeds. But you know what, you guys? I've got a lot of great flowers ready. I'm just doing my little <laughs> rip around here. Oh, yeah. There's lots. Plenty. Plenty of flowers, lots of euro still, rudbeckia. We got lots, so I'm trust trusting these. Oh yeah, I wanted to go see the dahlias that are blooming. To my surprise, those are coming along. So <clears throat> that is cool. Just gonna have a quick look here. Hmm. I am totally gonna use some of these. 100% <laughs> check it out you guys I think she's going to be obsessed with a little bit of this in her bouquets wow it's only a few of them that are really common but I mean I, I'm going to use this one for sure in hers like I gotta make them tonight and they're just not quite there yet but we have lots of other flowers that are going to be beautiful so yeah this is amazing i am pumped not pumped about the sunflowers not being ready but they are so close um just just one week too early i think anyways you guys i'm gonna get cracking and not i'm not gonna waste any more time because you know what i don't have time to waste today i am feeling the pressure today which is good i love pressure <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get the water going, run inside, take an allergy pill because it's bad right now, and then I'm going to get right to it. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so we have ranunculus still, and they actually seem to be doing really good, so I'm pumped about that. So that's my first thing I'm going to cut, the ranunx, some false sunnies, and then I'm going to go into the other field and cut a bunch of other stuff. So I'm probably not going to do the whole video while I'm cutting everything because I don't have time to do that. I need to get everything cut before it gets dark. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll meet you guys inside when I'm doing up the bouquets and the centerpieces. 
all right guys so i'm back in my house oh you guys like this is all from sweating it's like 30 degrees outside and unbelievably humid out this is like <laughs> it's so crazy too because that like as i get older my hair is starting to get this like fun little curl in it which is kind of cool um anyways you guys ah lost my earphone i've cut i've cut some buckets of flowers for the wedding um as i said earlier i was hopeful to have sunflowers ready but uh they are not and i'm in a bit of a weird spot right now with the flowers like there's lots of filler flowers that are ready right now but i'm just like days away from like all the dahlias popping and all the sunflowers popping so it's kind of a funny funny time but there is like a, a few of everything so i was able to I was able to get lots of really beautiful flowers, but I'm, I, uh, I'm actually considering seeing if my subscription will delay for a week, just because I think if we do the subscription this week, which is fine, we can do that. But then I'm going to have an off week when all the flowers are going to be going off the rails. So I'm going to see about that. Like I was really, I really wanted to get the ranunculus in there. Um, and that's kind of why I did the, did up the subscription last week for the first time but now i'm kind of like in this spot where it's like if i run the subscription this week then i'm gonna have a week where there's gonna be a shitload of blooms and i can definitely go to a farmer's market for sure but i would rather have those blooms for my subscription people so i might see if we can push it off for one week i'm gonna talk to them and see what they say but anyways that's my debrief on that um okay so we've got some chamomile flowers um just to kind of give that like wildflower whimsical look um some of my greenery is not quite ready yet so i'm um, gonna see how this works out which is is gonna be interesting um but <laughs> last year i had tomatillo plants um, and they, like, I mean, I had a bajillion tomatillos and let me tell you, those seeds come back with a vengeance. So I've got all these like tomatillo plants growing volunteer and I'm not talking like a few, I'm talking hundreds of them. So I love the greenery, which I think is going to work out in my benefit. I'm just going to show you guys here. Um, that's, this is the tomatillo plant and I'll take a few of these sides off so make sure it gets like maximum amount of water. I'm just going to leave them in here for a little while and see how they do with the water. But I think that's going to be some of my greenery. I do have some other greenery though. Um, oh, that piece broke. I gotta save it for a centerpiece. But um, like this is perennial oregano and this is an amazing filler and I love it because it's kind of got that wildflower kind of look to it. So that's going to be a filler. I've got some false sunflowers um i got quite a few of those i've got ranunculus i have a couple dahlias honestly the dahlias are going to be going crazy in just a couple weeks next week they'll be crazy but i got a couple dahlias i got yarrow um for a filler i think that is tarragon or summer savory maybe i can't remember and i've honestly never gone before hmm, i don't know we'll have to see about that one then i've got some snaps i've got some timothy grass I've got the saponaria, I've got bachelor's buttons, I've got some calendula, a little bit of, oh, this one, I know it's called Pink Sunday, but it's called, mm, I have to look on my map, anyways, I just picked one of those, because that's a cute little filler too, um, so I think I'm gonna have fun making these, you guys, I'm really excited, so I am going to get cracking, because I don't want to be making flowers until two in the morning, which might happen anyways, because it might take me a while. I've never done this before. It's my first time ever doing a flower bouquet, which I'm excited about. I have one more to do in, in Fe uh, I don't know, I keep thinking February, in September. And so this is going to give me a really amazing shot at it before it actually comes time for the other one. So I've got free reign with this um wedding i think both of them but the they kind of both really wanted sunflowers um the sunflowers will be going off the rails in september but they are not they're so close honestly like they're like eh, even just a little bit opening up it's like damn it but anyway it doesn't matter they're happy with whatever and I, I know i'm gonna make something that they're gonna totally love and i get to deliver it tomorrow morning so i'm gonna get cracking here you guys and i'll check in with you i have never done this so I'm just going to go with my gut and I'm going to feel this flower arrangement, these flower arrangements out. I have definitely watched a few YouTube videos. None of them were really that exciting to me about like wild, like not wildflower, but like 
a very organic natural looking bouquet none of them really like spoke to me so i'm just kind of like i'm just gonna feel this i'm gonna like put on my music and i'm gonna feel my way through these bouquets because that's the best thing i can do and i'm gonna come up with exactly what krista would come up with and so i'm gonna do that you guys um but yeah i will set up my camera and you guys can i'm gonna time lapse it a bit just because it'll take me forever but I will check in with you guys here once I get a bouquet done. And I'm gonna start with the bridal bouquet because that's the most important one of them all. And then I'm gonna do the bridesmaid one. And then I'm doing a little one, just a teeny little one for the, the daughter. So I only have three and then I have three centerpieces. And with the centerpieces, I have these little um, jars and they've got their denim is kind of a theme. They've asked people to wear denim. It's a very casual backyard wedding. So I've got denim ribbon. Um, a few different ones to try out um, but I like this one the most I got it at Michael's um, so I'm gonna put wrap that I think around the vases um, and then tie the bouquets with them as well so I'm gonna get to it you guys I'll check it a bit Okay, friends, so here I have our bride's bouquet all done. I used a little bit of a different ribbon than I thought I was gonna use, but that is it in all its glory. I just kind of went with it. And then I got to a point where I was like, yep, that's good enough. Anything more would be too much. So I do have to move that dahlia around a little bit because that sunny fall sunny is definitely blocking it but that is it you guys so i'm going to get it into water and then i'm going to get working on the rest okay you guys so i've got two of the bouquets done i'll grab them quickly actually because i have them cooling in our cool hallway so give me a second i'm super glad that i have this little trial run before i decide to do too many weddings but anyways so here is the brides Okay, you guys can see this. I'm gonna get some pictures of it. Um, that's the bride one. And so for the um, wrap here, I just used, I used this ribbon and double-sided tape. Um, I'll show you guys when I do the last, um, the last bouquet, I kind of forgot. But anyways, I put the double-sided tape around to the stems and then I put the um, blue ribbon around that and it sticks to it beautifully. And so that one is the bride one and it's got the big dahlia in there. And then, oh, here is our bridesmaid. So she's got her sister as her bridesmaid. There's that one. Again, okay, little spinny spin spinneroo. Beautiful little one, hold it there, looks perfect. I don't know if you guys can see me, but I think that is perfect size. And so now what I'm working on, so I'm pumped about how those went. Like I honestly literally made them for how it felt to me. Like I just made it, made it, made it. And then I was like, okay, oh, shoot. Um, I was just making it and just like feeling the whole bouquet. So there was no just, it was just like all about like putting it in and feeling if it felt right and if it didn't feel right. Um, and that's kind of how I did the whole thing. And then once I got to a point, I was like, no, that is enough. Otherwise, any more is just going to be overkill. So um, yeah, I'm hopeful that these are all going to really like rejuvenate overnight in the water. I've got flower food in there and everything. And then we'll check them out in the morning. But what I'm working on now is um, the centerpieces. So as I said before, their, their theme is denim. Or the, it's, there's no real theme, actually. It's a very casual backyard wedding. But they did say if, you're come, like, if you come to the wedding, you can wear denim. So that is something she said. So I knew what kind of ribbon to use. So I'm just tying a little bit of denim ribbon around these little vases, which I like. And then I'm going to fill them with flowers and greenery and I in my head I have this visual of like them being a little bit tall so that's why I got some of this timothy grass um that's taller 
and I'm just gonna kind of like I don't know I just in my head I have this visual of it like being a little bit tall taller so I'm not sure how that's all gonna go um, exactly but again I'm just gonna feel out the feel it out and do it like that um, so the other thing too I don't know if I'm gonna do this or not I think I'm I don't know and the other thing you can do is kind of like make like a little wire structure to kind of put in there and you can find wire structures um, that you can put in and then the, it holds like the flowers in place I don't know like if I'm gonna do that I could just take this make this into like a little structure and just toss it in there do I don't I and then it just would hold the flowers in place I'm gonna try it without and see if I can do it um, and just like leave it organically looking because that's kind of how I want everything to be I don't want to be but I do want some standing up so I might have to get creative with that um, but yeah, and then the last one, last bouquet I need to make is the little daughter's the flower girl. She needs a bouquet, but I'm just going to wait till the very end and use what I have left. Um, because she doesn't need a big one. She just kind of needs a teeny little one. So I'm just going to use like whatever's left over. So that is my bag, you guys. Um, this, the bouquets have been very successful. I would say they are a ton of fun to make. I was loving the process of it all. So I'm excited. Um, yeah, and I hope to get some better pictures of them. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that, but I hope to get a few better pictures of them. Um, and then we'll, we'll see how it will go. So I'm just going to crack it on this and I'll show you guys one of these when I'm done. And then I will, when I'm doing the last bouquet, I will show you how I do the, did the wrapping around the um, stem. So. <laughs> double-sided floral tape hopefully you guys can see that there and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just oh I need an elastic okay <laughs> first things first I put an elastic around them to hold them into place easy peasy so get it on there pretty good and tight so it's got good control and slide it down to an area where you can cover it with the tape. So then I'm going to put my double-sided florist tape on. <laughs> and the only reason I have this stuff is because I took a floral design course when I was taking some horticulture classes through the University of Saskatchewan. So I already had this stuff. Oh gosh, it's such a pain in the butt to get go on here okay okay so i'm just putting it on the crazy thing about this is kind of you have to like wrap roll it on and peel it all at the same time because if you peel it too early it's pretty flimsy and i already did it once tonight i peeled too much i got her all tangled up so i'm just gonna go down about two inches so hopefully you can see what i'm doing here a couple inches with this oh shoot and i'm gonna put the ribbon on it after and just carry on because it makes it look like really cute and i'm almost worried that i put these on too soon because i'm gonna have to take them back tomorrow and i'm worried that the ribbon's gonna get wet in the water but I'm going to try to just minimize the amount of water in the bucket and okay I think that's enough for this one so it's on there now the double-sided tape so I kind of want it doesn't really matter what the front is but kind of like kind of like that be the front so I'm going to it, there's flowers all the way around so I'm going to start this in the back put the ribbon on in the back if you guys can see and stick it right to right to the tape and then we're just going to wrap this around and cover up all that tape and then 
for the last little piece of it, I'm going to cut a little piece of tape off. There we are. So I'm just going to cut a little piece of tape off to put it um, yeah, put it back here. Whoopsie. We'll cut this off. So I'm just going to put a little bit of tape on it going this direction, so vertically. And then that's what's going to close it off. Yep. Sort of pop that on there just like that. That's my double sided tape there. And I'm going to peel it off. I can. Okay, yeah, peeled it off. So you can see that there. So then that's just going to roll around and stick on there. Okay, awesome. And so then the little bits of tape that are left, if you can see any at the bottom, I'm just going to like cinch them up a bit and then snip them off. Just to finish that off. Now, there's like really fancy ways to do the finishing off, but because this is a fairly rustic wedding, I'm just kind of leaving it au natural. And there it is, you guys, it's all done up. So it'll be, your hand will be around it. And then just like that, oh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Just like that for a little girl. And, oh yeah, this direction, oh. oh. Yep, it's in the right spot, so just kind of like that. And so I will advise them to just keep the flowers in water until they need them. And then right after they're done with them, just cause that's going to give them way more lifespan. And uh, that is that you guys. So that's my third bouquet. These are my center pieces here. There's two and then the third. So that Timothy grass is what makes it tall. And then they're just beautiful and elegant looking. So that is them, you guys. And so I'm all done. It's 11 o'clock at night and I don't even think that's too bad. So I'm gonna clean up my mess and then get packed up so I can put these um, down where the AC is. And then, um, and then in the morning, I will just take them out to the car and we'll get on a flight. So everything looks really, really good. And then everything's like perking back up. Like it can sometimes go a little bit, um, lamp i would say um when you pick them so i can see everything's just really starting to pick up again i've got flower food in all of these um in the morning i may have to dump that water out it might go a little bit green and put new water in but that's fine and then i have the bouquets over here in this bucket and then that'll be it you guys so that is going to do it for me for the bouquets um and the bunches Anyways, yes, okay, so that's gonna wrap up the video for me, you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments on tips that you guys use for making bridal bouquets, let me know this is only my first time doing it. So tips are welcome, and yeah, we'll check you guys next time. Thanks for watching.